morning. Happy October 1st. Um, I am Gabs, one half of Slip Slip Sis, and it is my month. Chaley and I split. Um, I get October for Vlogtober, and then Chaley does Vlogmas in December. So my plan for Vlogtober is to upload videos maybe every three or four days. Last year, I did every single day, and it just ended up um, being too much editing time and I couldn't get it done and it was overwhelming. So I'm going to do like maybe every three or four days, maybe every week um, for the month of October. So today is Saturday. We've got lots of busy stuff with my girls and um, welcome to our channel. Hi, I'm done with my workout. I do um, I work out every morning. Sometimes I run. I have a run about three days a week. And then my other four days, I do the Every Mother program. Um, it's for, it's geared towards healing diastasis recti and pelvic floor stuff. So it was great after I had my baby and it's a year subscription. So I am still continuing it. We do have an affiliate link. I'll put it below, but it is actually a really great program. And I told people to join before I was an affiliate. Um, it really helped with my core strength and all those things. I'm not, I don't weigh myself anymore because all it does is cause me anxiety, but my clothes fit better. I feel better. I've got better posture. And if you really do want to know the measurements and the changes, I am happy to let you know, but I don't want to make that triggering for other people. Um, so, sorry, I'm going to block the line that's streaming in. So if you really want to do my know the progress and the measurements and all that stuff, you can drop a comment below or DM us on Instagram. And I am happy to share my progress, but it really has helped. I have better posture. I have more energy and feel stronger. So that's kind of what I'm looking for anyway in a program. So I'm ready to get ready for the day. Lottie is awake. Lottie is my two-year-old. Eleanor is, I think, still sleeping or playing in her crib. Eleanor is my nine-month-old. And then we've got swim and ballet class today. And then we are going to try and hit up a festival. It's a fall festival at our local park. So we're going to try and give that a shot if we can fit it in. And then hopefully I will get a bunch of knitting done today because I signed up for four test knits and they're all sweaters. So fingers crossed that I get some knitting done today. All right, catch you later. Um, I just got some ironing done. I ironed some of the uh, items that were selling through my high school's costume shop. Uh, we sell them on Depop, so I need to make them. Yes, we uh, need to make them look nice and all of that. We're raising money for our musical this year and clearing out the space because we have an old shipping container and I honestly don't really use the costumes because it's a pain in the butt to go out to the shipping container because there's like spiders and scorpions and it's hot and there's no electricity so there's no light and I have to use a flashlight to look for any costumes. So we're revamping how we do costume storage um, and selling a bunch of it because I'm simply just not using it and I would rather it go to a good home as well as we need to raise funds for our program because my district gives me about $120 to fund my musical and my musical costs about six thousand dollars so there's a huge price discrepancy i know huge price discrepancy that i need to make up which we do every year this isn't new but um, i'm trying something new about selling some of our vintage items online hoping that they find new loving homes and that way we're a little bit more sustainable because the clothes aren't doing anything just sitting there because i don't use them um because my students make costumes so we we usually make the costumes and um, um, that's what I'm doing. Um, I'll put the Depop below if you want to check out and just see what vintage stuff we've got. I know this sounds like a huge promo video with every mother and Depop and all that stuff, but really no pressure to do anything. It's just what I'm doing right now. In my life. It's just what I'm doing right now with my life. Yes, that's what Ele Eleanor endorses this message. Um, anyway, um, we've got to go strip swim sheets, clean some, clean some stuff, and then we're headed off to swim lessons. Feed this little one some breakfast. Catch you later. Hello, I am back. I am 
slightly traumatized because I had to put saline nose drops in my nine months old's nose because she has um, some allergies and all of that. And she can't take allergy meds, so she can only take these saline drops. Um, and she, of course, did not enjoy it. And Daniel and Lottie are still at Costco, so I had to pin her little arms and put the drops in her mouth all the while while she's trying to escape from my arms. And of course, I'm trying to prevent her from getting hurt. So that was rough. But what I'm doing right now is I am prepping all of my yarn for my, yeah, my little one's here on the floor with me. I'm prepping all of my yarn for my test knits. I've got it in this really cool box. It's like a set, it's from the seventies. It's my grandma's box um Chaley my our grandmother uh passed away in 2020 and we've been kind of inheriting all of her cool sewing notions she's the one who taught me how to sew um so I've been kind of repurposing her stuff this box uh used to hold her patterns in it and now I'm using it to hold my skeins so sorry I'm trying to hold my tripod in place I'm so sorry I'm trying to hold my tripod because my baby is trying to use the tripod but let me be back and put the tripod in a safer place i am back and the tripod is now in a safer location it's a little bit crooked and you can see my whole messy living room but real life right this is what it looks like with a nine month old and a two-year-old all the time in my living room i love to tell you that this is not what it normally looks like but honestly this is kind of clean for us it's usually the toys are everywhere and it's a minefield um it is what it is, but I thought I would show you my skeins that I have. The box is completely filled with stuff. Um, so I thought I'd show you the skeins that I have to all skate up, and I'm going to try and get organized so I can get all this done because I got a lot to do. So let's, here we go. Excuse me, Eleanor. All right. So I'm going to do these kind of, I guess, in order of what I, of when they're, what I when I'm in the middle of I guess sorry I'm like talking halfway off camera so this is she's got my skeins but that's okay this is my knitted wood I'm in the process of this sweater um I have three skeins and two of them are already balled up this is for the Davis Square Henley test knit for Sophie of so knits a lot it is um due on November 27th so I actually have a bunch of time on it but this is also the first test knit that I got accepted into so I'm mostly done with the body I've got like an inch left and then the ribbing and the sleeves and the collar so this one is the most done this is and I'm knitting it in the knitted wit sport weight on golden delicious so I just have to skate up this last one um I don't believe I have my next one that's the one that's actually really due soon it's due on October 31st so it's a month from now it is um the Descending Peaks cardigan, or car sorry, Descending Peaks sweater um, by It's Ann Made on Instagram. I'll link it all below. Um, and it's my first crochet garment. It's knit out of a 100% cotton worsted weight yarn that Chaley and I won in a grand prize from Lofty Lou's at the Sierra Nevada Yarn Crawl. And Chaley said I could use my half for my my sweater so that's really right so I'm excited about that but it's crochet and I have no idea how fast I can crochet I know how fast I can knit and get done sweaters but I've never done this for crochet so that's what I'm gonna be working on my next other test knit which don't ask my, I've already stressed my sister out by doing all these test knits I just signed up for them and I didn't think I would get in especially this one because it's for a uh, Lindsay Fowler of Larkspur knits and she's so popular I've got her salt and timber book I've tested it for her before I knit I tested it socks for her like four years ago so I honestly didn't think I was going to get in because she's such a popular designer and I know a lot of people want to test it for her so I was like I'm just going to apply see what happens but I didn't think I was getting in but I did so I'm excited this one is due November 15th she says it's a soft deadline but I like to make my deadlines so these are the colors that I picked this is my main color it's a cardigan it's the hot dish cardigan and I think she might be still looking for sizes so, so i have the juniper moons stargazer it's baby llama and silk which i got on sale from our local yarn store at 
filler called fillery it's in the colorway terracotta and it's going with can i have this please sweetie um with my the real teal from sorry she's got the box and i'm trying to make sure she doesn't bonk herself from level rebel woolworks which is no longer selling yarn we bought this part of her kickstarter campaign last year the real teal on sock it's a it's fingering held double cardigan or a DK weight cardigan. So this is DK weight and I'm going to do this as fingering held double and it's got two colors. And so this is also Rebel Woolworks and it is in stone. So these are my three colors for the colorway or for the hot dish cardigan. Sorry, I'm a mess today. Um, then I also have my colors for I'm also doing the Stephen West mystery knit along. Don't even talk to me about why I'm such a mess about it, but I'm doing that too. So these are my colors for that. I'm doing, this it was one of the $20 colorways from Barnyard Knits. I think it's called Orchid. Yes, it's called Orchid. So I've got two skeins of that. I have this really cute raspberry. The skein got all tangled, so I had to ball, like, ball it, like, by hand, it was awful. Danielle and I did it like last year and I was so frustrated. This is by Neighborhood Fiber Company. Um, I think it's called Truxton Circle, something like that. I got it at Stitches West like in 2020, when I right after I had Lottie. So I have two skeins of this too. There, one is in a cake. Excuse me, Eleanor. Uh, one is in a cake. Do you have the end? Um, and this one's in a ball. It is a single ply weight. And I don't know what I was thinking. I don't really like single ply. I don't purchase it anymore, but I still have single ply in my stash. So I'm living with it. Excuse me, little girl. Then I have this, which is also Rebel War Works from, and it's chamomile. So it's, these are my colors. I'm not a very good YouTuber. So I've got this for the Stephen West Mystery Knit Along on top of all my test knits. This is in all my test knits. I've got one more for you. And I have, this is the Elder Wild. This is going to be my Elder Wild sweater by, her name is Megan Gonzalez, but I can't remember her Instagram name. It's flown out of my mind. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. So this is going to be her Elder Wild test knit, but this was not due till December 15th, so I can totally swing it. This is in Forbidden Fiber Company's Fortitude, and it is DK weight, and the colorway is Right to Vote, which I love this pink color. It actually reminds me so much of my sister. Um, so it's going to be this really cute v-neck pullover, um, and watch on, sweet girl. Sorry, I was going to tell you more. Let me get my baby. Um, it is... If you're new here, I am also a history teacher as well as a drama teacher, so I love the right to vote in the 20s collection she had. I used to teach world history, now I teach government economics, but those are all the things that I have to skate up and knit, and it's going to be a frenzy. I think I might um, pull a knitty natty and do, oh sweet girl, um, and like make a plan so I can keep on track and make sure I get it done. So fingers crossed for me. Okay. I'll check in with you in a little bit. So we are, I am back. We went to swim lessons and then both girls fell asleep in the car. So I was too scared to vlog because um, I was worried that I was going to wake them up. And they both ended up sleeping like for two hours, which was, I guess, needed for both of them. And I spent that time working on my te crochet test knit. So it's my very first crochet test knit and it used my whole brain. I had to use, I was using my phone to videotape myself or video myself crocheting because I'm left-handed. 
so my thing looks backwards so I wasn't sure if I was doing it so I was using my phone to video it to ask the designer if my swatch looked correct and then I had the YouTube video open on my computer and I was like my husband had to put in like earbuds for his YouTube video because I was like I need my whole brain to focus on this because it was tricky but I think I got it right I think it's a descent it's a oops it's I think it's okay I think it's coming along it is due October 31st so I am committed to working on it um, I'm also on the ribbing of my Davis square Henley um, so hopefully I finish that and then I haven't caked up the yarn I didn't get to caking up the yarn for the other two or three projects I've got on the needles I went to Fillory which is our local yarn store that was right next to Lottie's ballet class and I got another set of US threes because all my projects need US threes. That's what I my gauge for when I use DK. And then I found out I found out that there is a knit group for the mystery knit along for the Stephen West uh, twist and turns shawl, which Chaley and I are doing and running a little Instagram um, group chat. If you want to join, you can always DM us, and we're happy to have more people. So, but there's an in person like knit knit group as well. Sorry, we're all eating dinner. So um, I might join that depending on what time it is. But I gotta run because it's getting hectic here and it's dinner time. I am having a jambalaya that I made a couple days ago and um, the Creole seasoning we have is too spicy. So we're eating it slowly because I made it way too spicy. Anyway, catch you in a little bit. So I wanted to check in uh, one more time before uh, we kind of wrapped up for the night and um, because today is day one of Vlogtober, I'm going to try and get this all uploaded and um, on YouTube so it's kind of established. Um, I would apologize for how my hair looks but let's be real, this is how my hair kind of looks in general. I've got like a child put a clip in it and I was rolling on the ground with my kids. This is just kind of how I look these days. Anyway, I um, finished the first round of increases on my Descending Peaks um, sweater. Um, it goes like this. This is the top. I think I'm actually doing it right. I think I think I've done it correctly. My daughter is yelling at me that I've left the lotion out. So now she's out of bed. Well, on that note, I'm gonna keep working on my <laughs> Descending Peaks crochet and I will talk to you tomorrow.